goodbye for Ethiopian music icon and activist Hachalu Hundesa, shot dead in the capital Addis Ababa. He was shot dead in Addis Ababa on Monday Achilu night. Hundesa was assassinated. <laughs> Hachalu Hundesa was more than just an artist and more than just an activist. Hachalu embodied what it meant to live unapologetic and unafraid while speaking truth to power. Hachalu's music, although deeply entertaining, transcended just entertainment. It was, and he was, historical archive. Tell us a little bit about what he meant to the Roma community, what Ethiopia is missing from his passing. He is a, a towering uh, musical figure, he is a cultural icon uh, among the Oromo community uh, who played a decisive consequential role in galvanizing support uh, for the 2015-2018 uh, Oromo protest movement which actually um, you know, played the most part in ushering the current Prime Minister uh, onto power. <laughs> Hachalu's father, Hundesa Bonsa, describes him as the shining sun of the house and says that his heart won't heal until the day he goes to join his child. <laughs> So Haj Alu is really um, courage and abundance. He is selflessness without limits. He's an ally to those who, who need allyship. He is a friend to those who need a friend. He is um, a, a voice for those who feel unheard. Um, and Haj Alu is intellectual depth that is unique and he is truth without compromise. <laughs> My son was a hero, like a lion. He roars about his people, but he was eaten by rats. Rats only know how to pierce silos in the dark. Ajalu Hundesa, assassinated June 29, 2020. And physically, he's a small guy, tiny guy, but he's a giant. He's bigger than life itself. Ajalu was containing an unstoppable untamable energy. Haj Alu Hundesa is somebody who has left a lasting legacy for the Oromo community. An advocate, bold, fearless, freethinker Oromo artist of our time. He was very influential and iconic. He shed light on Romo's struggle through his music. I can upset the game.
Haj Alu was extremely brilliant, deeply knowledgeable about Oromo culture and Oromo history and philosophy. He came from a lineage of poets and scholars and freedom fighters. He was devoted to connecting us to our heritage and uplifting us as a people. Haj Alu was able to provoke this deep and resounding sense of joy amongst Oromos everywhere. His music and his message also transcended generation. Oromos of all ages could see themselves in his message. <laughs> So many of us are inspired by his resilience and his fearlessness in advocating for the Oromo people, and that is a legacy that he will continue to lead. His music also went beyond the audience of just Oromos. His ability as an artist, as a creative, as a storyteller was respected. Achalu meant a big brother to me. A friend that I can go to anytime and I have a discussion about anything with. And losing Achalu did not hurt only me, it hurt the Oromo nation, it hurt the Ethiopian nation. He was very valuable to that nation. Especially to you. Hat a lot for me. He is a heroic voice for myself and all the Romo people. He is a, a fearless advocate for justice and equality that we all stand for and he even stretches his hands to non oromos in uh, brotherhood to me Haj alu is the personification of oromoma he is oromoma personified he motivated us and inspired us he made us stronger and prouder um, of our oromo identity he brought us together um, he was a storyteller, a friend, a father. I don't understand why Kenya comes in why Kenya, why Europe, why is Sabata, Paramara, why there are so many Hachalus out there who will continue to fight the good fight. And Hachalu lives in all of us. Um, he's right now the motivating factor for all of us to just keep fighting and to keep pushing. Hachalu is Hindu, and he is a Hindu. He is a Hindu, and he is a Hindu. He is a Hindu, and he is a Hindu. Now through his death, 
His legacy didn't die. His legend didn't die. His impact didn't die. Actually, it's multiplying. Hachalu. Your death is not in vain. Because you galvanized us. You mobilized us. You empowered us. You inspired us. And you motivated us to act. Every aroma on earth right now is not the same as they were before June 29. You have united all of us with your blood. We're not going to stop until your dreams, your vision, your aspiration is realized. Because when you are alive, you are able to get our frustrations, our challenges, our dreams, our, 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 our aspirations, our goals, and package it in, in the nice melody, in the nice lyrics, and present it to us and to the world to motivate us, to encourage us, and to cry on our behalf. And you're speaking truth to power. Hachalu Undesa, you're not dead. Hachalu Undesa, you still live through us. He lit a fire in all of us, and I know that that is going to push us forward. Um, Haj Alu may have been taken from us, but I know that his legacy will, will live on forever. And Haj Alu, other than that, is also um, a husband. Um, he's a father. He's a son. He's a brother. And really, um, the most beloved son of our nation and, uh, and once in a lifetime giant uh, who left behind a um, really legendary legacy. So what he means to us is really hard to put into a few words. Um, so we are going to show him in action. can only pray that we continue this momentum of speaking out and giving a platform to the voices back home. And Hach Alu has really been that spark for our generation. Hach Alu meant everything to Oromos. And his message, his music, and his artistry will continue to live on. Malanjira, 